Alright, Shalawan, Yasha'Allah. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. Shalawan to the hopeful elect. And, um, this is an article off of the Hollywood Gossip dealing with an Edomite woman who is uh, calling out to her fellow Edomite nation, right? To the men and women to procreate more through the white baby challenge. And as you see, you know, at the top of the article is the title um, Mommy Blogger Issues White Baby Challenge Rails Against Black Ghetto Culture. All right. Uh, this is by Hilton Hater, um, April 17, 2017. You know, so, you know, a few years ago, but it's still relevant because um, she is now being more. Uh, known and popular through different social media sites and things like that uh, for her uh, white baby challenge. So let's uh, read some of this article briefly and touch on the main points I want to get and go over, go over a few scriptures. So it says a Mormon mommy blogger named Ayla has sadly gone viral over the past several days for issuing a white baby challenge to the rest of the world. What is a white baby challenge? You are likely wondering. Disturbingly, it is exactly what it sounds like. And this is the Edomite woman right here, okay, um, who's issued that white baby challenge, all right? And she's going to name the reasons why. And I'm also going to another article that I got from the New York Times, you know, showing you why she's really uh, calling out to her fellow Edomite uh, the people of her nation Which you so called white people are The Edomites according to the bible On why that they need to do this um, White baby challenge Alright You know or why they think And feel that they need to do this <clears throat> So it says a mother of six Ayla wrote in detail on her blog Nordic Sunrise That Mormonism is doomed unless white people Rise up and procreate On a more frequent basis on a more frequent basis and while it would be easy for us to make a joke here about how Tori Spelling is doing her part this this really is not a joking matter you know uh, you know so the point is hey, she's calling out to her her people of her nation right which are the Edomites that they are need to be that they need to procreate more because because honestly she knows that her race is on the verge of verge of extinction man Okay, because they're having um, they're having more deaths, but fewer births. You know, and um, a she she says she's a Mormon or whatever, and even with that, the the Book of Mormon is garbage. All right, the Bible does not deal with the the Book of Mormon. All right, that's a false book. It's not an inspired book. You know, by the Lord. It's not a. It's it's not has nothing to do with the Bible. Okay. That book is trash. Alright? And um has nothing to do with the Bible. So let's go uh get to the main points. I don't want to take all day dealing with this. Alright, so this is from the New York Times. Um one second. Alright, so as it's loading in, uh this is from the New York Times, it says fewer births. Then deaths among whites in majority of U.S. states. Let's read that again. It says fewer births than deaths among whites in majority of U.S. states. So, you know, this may be a lady that may look up information and she knows, you know, just through the just through seeing and, and through her spirit that her 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 people. Right. Her nation is finished, man. You know. She's she's probably seeing more of, of these different heathens, okay, in, in a lot of places she go. But more more importantly, she's seeing more of Jake, man, right? More more of the Israelites, which are your so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, why? Because uh, we are the majority, we are not the minority. Okay. So let's read that again. It says fewer births than deaths among whites in majority of US states. Read briefly on the article below. It says Washington deaths now outnumber births among white people. Right, Edomites. That's what you are because you're not white. You're red. You are uh, 
descendants of Esau, Edom, according to the Bible. Since deaths now outnumber births among white people, Edomite people, in more than half the states of the in the country, demographers have found signaling what could be a faster than expected transition to a future in which whites, Edomites, are no longer a majority of the American population. The Census Bureau has projected that whites, Edomites, could drop, so-called whites with you are Edomites, could drop below 50% of the population around 2045. Um, a relatively slow moving change that has been years in the making, but a new report this week found that Edomites, so-called white people, are dying faster than they are being born. Now in 26 states, up from 17 just two years earlier, and demographers say that shift might come even sooner. It's happening a lot faster than we thought, said uh, Roglio uh, Sanez, a demographer at the University of Texas at San Antonio and a co-author of the report. It examines, that, it examines the period from 1999 to 2016 using data from the National Center for Health St Statistics, the federal agency that tracks births and deaths. He said he was so surprised at the finding that at first he thought it was a mistake. Ooh, look at that, man. The Lord's plaguing you devils, man. Okay. Hey, the curses are starting to fall upon you now, man. Like the, like us brothers been saying on the highways and byways, man. So, you know, that's the little, uh, the little chart is showing you. Uh... Let's do a little bit more here. It says, and let's get into a few scriptures. It says the pattern first started nearly two decades ago in a handful of states with aging white populations like Pennsylvania and West Virginia, but fortality rates dropped dra drastically after the Great Recession, and mortality rates for whites who are not of Hispanic origin have been rising, driven partly by drug overdoses. Right, their own people they can thank for that because the, the pharmaceutical industry pushes out the, these drugs, man. It's the reason why you have the opioid epidemic and things like that today, right? Since that has demographic change on a faster track. The list of states where white deaths outnumber births now includes North Carolina and Ohio. Uh, hey, so you can, if you want to continue to get more information, you can read this article yourself. But yourself, you know. But hey, you know, you you devils, right? You Edomites, y'all are finished, man. Okay, <clears throat> y'all are completely finished, and ultimately y'all y'all will be uh, y'all y'all be uh, casted away off the earth once y'all come in the kingdom and serve y'all thousand years of slavery to the Israelites, and then y'all gonna be cast off, man, as a nation no more, man. Okay, so y'all talking about twenty forty five? Hey, when the Lord come back, hey. Y'all losing everything once the Lord come back And y'all losing everything in y'all power Y'all whole rulership and structure And everything as we speak man This place is completely crumbling Starting with where? The head America, Babylon, and Great So let's get a few scriptures um, Let's go to the book of Obadiah 1 Verse 1 it says The vision of Obadiah thus saith the Lord God Concerning Edom Okay you Edomites, you so-called white people. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee, who, Edom, small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. You see that? You see, y'all are greatly despised. And what? Y'all are small among the heathen, man. Okay? You even see with this plague that's happening to y'all, or, or, you know, I'm calling it a plague, you know, as far as my personal opinion, you know, as a man using that word. But, hey, you see this thing happening to y'all where, hey, y'all not even having, uh, y'all are not even able to reproduce fast enough to keep y'all population at high numbers. Okay? So now y'all been uh, made small among the heathen. It says, uh, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. That thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, 
that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, right? Because you devils are very prideful, man. You know, y'all came into y'all power, into y'all rulership and wickedness. And y'all thought that y'all would never be able to be brought down, okay? And y'all are being brought down by the spirit and power of y'all by Shemiah was shot, man. You know? And, and, and also, why? Uh, <clears throat> thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. You know, why? Because y'all are the true cave people on the earth, man. All right? That's why y'all call yourself Caucasians, because y'all know y'all come from the Caucasus Mountains, man. Hey, y'all are the real cave people. Y'all are the real cave dwellers. Okay? That is y'all habitation. For real, for real. The clefts of the rock. Um, it says, uh, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If things came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they have not would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Nah, man. Okay. Let's deal with us let's deal with even these different resources that these other nations got in their lands. Once Esau finds out that you nations have these resource resources in your lands, he's coming to take it, and he's coming to take it all. He's not gonna leave nothing. For you and your nation to benefit off of it no he's coming over to that country to take everything okay he's not leaving nothing all right that's why you see a lot of these countries in the state that they're in because who came over there and destroyed it esau edom verse 6 it says how are the things of esau searched out how are his head things sought up sought up and the spirit of the lord man is revealing his devil to revealing you know that these Edomites, the so-called white people, starting with the elites, right? Starting with the elites, that, hey, you're the devil the Bible speaks of, man. He's showing showing your, your true characteristics to the whole earth, man. You know, just one example, these other nations can now uh, just go on the internet or turn on the TV and see the, the different things that's happening in here in America, right? The way how you treat people, how you treat other nations, you know, how you go into the how you go into other countries, and you, you take everything that they have, and you know you you push your religion your religion on them, and you you oppress the people, you know all these different things. Now, you know the nations can see that man. So the things that you hid for long periods of time is now being what brought to the light, man. Okay, and now you're being searched out, and your skirt has been lifted, man. Your skirt has been lifted. And one of, the, one of the things that the Lord is doing is what? Uh, you you being revealed by his men, right? The prophets that's on the highways and byways, right? Preaching the word. And, and the men that's doing these videos exposing you devils, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But uh, the, the point, you know, is, is just touching on, hey, is that what? You, you devils are finished, man. Okay? Looking at things like this, this is signs... You know, of your fall, man. Okay? If this can't tell you that this is one of the signs of Esau Edom's fall, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay? Look how Rome fell. How did Rome fell, fall? They had their military spread, right? Their their uh, their money system. Economy was, was finished, man. It was terrible. You know? So they had to keep people entertained and not paying attention, you know, by the means of what? The uh, the basically basically the Braden Circus Act, the same thing you see here with you know all this entertainment and BS going on with people, you know, uh, you know the things that people are paying attention to, that really doesn't mean anything, man. You know, but a uh, that's the point for that. Uh, I wanted to get another scripture because I mentioned that uh, we are not the the minority, right? The Israelites, we're the majority. So let's get this real fast. Uh, see the sand of the sea. Sand. Let me see. Here we go. We'll, we'll use this one. Hosea 1 verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered you see that 
And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are sons of the living God, man. All right? And we, we were told here in America that what? You know, we weren't, we weren't the Lord's people. You know? But guess what? We know that we are sons of the living power, man. We know that we are Yasha Allah, the Lord's people. You know, but the point is, I wanted to get it was what? Hey, the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of Negro and Indian descent, and also you other confusion of faith Israelites that scatter amongst these different nations due to the curses, you know? You might uh, speak these uh, languages as, of, of these other nations or have their features, you know, but if your 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 seed if your seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're an Israelite, man. Okay, and Israelites are everywhere. We're scattered. We're amongst all these nations. Okay, but the point is, hey, it says the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, man. Okay, 